back to our pick'em segment today. Here with Zachary Whitley, Brian Houston, and Tyler Wiley. And today we have some high school games and some college games to read off and determine who's going to win this Friday and Saturday. First, we have the number five ranked Brandon Bulldogs versus the number six ranked Madison Central Jaguars. And Brandon losing to the reigning five A state championship from Picayune. Um, I think it's going to hurt the morale a little bit. They might play good against Madison Central, but still, give me Madison Central. And I'm going to disagree with you right here. I think that Brandon, this is going to be their bounce back game to get their season started. I think Brandon's still going to be a overall a great team in 7A. <clears throat> I think they're going to go ahead and just sweep through 7A. I think they're going to be a state champ contender again. And I think Brandon, this is going to be their bounce back game. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to Brandon. Give me Madison Central because if you put a Bulldog against a Jag- well, Jaguar, Jaguar is going to be the Bulldog, no problem. So, yeah. Anywho, on to the next I game. About, more about that. Next, we have the 17th-ranked Oxford Chargers versus the 13th-ranked South Panola Tigers. And um, Oxford coming off a big, big district, not district, big rivalry win against the Commodores last week. Yeah. Um, who did South Panola play last week? South Panola, they played Houston. They did. I'm and pretty they, sure they won. And they beat Houston. Yeah. Um, you know, South Panola good. Oxford beat the crap out of the Commodores. Hate to say it, but um, give me, give me, give me the Tigers. Give me South Panola. I'm not dissing on Oxford. I just think South Panola has a better team overall. And I'm going to agree with you. I think, I think that South Panola, they just got the bigger, faster, more aggressive team. South Panola, I think they're going to go ahead and, and compete real good with Oxford. I think Oxford's going to compete real well with South Panola, too. I think it's going to be a close game. But I'm going to go ahead and edge <coughs> that a little bit to South Panola. If there isn't any illegal recruits. <coughs> what you got, Ron? Give me South Panola. They have a four-star running back who's going to run all over Oxford Friday. On to the next game. We have the 24, 24th ranked Grenada Chargers versus the 20th ranked Winona Tigers. And um, Grenada coming off of a big win against Arkansas Pine Bluff. Winona, who actually in the Jamboree, I don't know who they played last week, in the Jamboree, I know it's the Jamboree, kept up really good with Oxford. Mm -hmm. Um, But, I mean, Charlie Fair is the 17th ranked quarterback in Mississippi for these past two weeks. And just give me the Chargers, because give me Grenada because just because they have the yeah. better team overall. And I think Grenada, they just going to have the better team this one. I think out of conference play, Winona's going to struggle a little bit. But I think once they get back into dealing with, like, the 3A and their 2A team, the, the regions that they're in, I think they're gonna, that's when they're going to start dominating still. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to Grenada in this one. Yeah, I agree with you. But I, I think, think Winona's, they still have a really good season. Yeah, I think once Winona gets back to that 3A, that 20th, rank, 20th ranking will come to show. Give what? me – <clears throat> Give me Grenada. They have the better team overall, more explosive. They have the better quarterback. And I heard they have some pretty decent receivers, too. I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Finally, for our last high school game, we have the LaFette Commodores versus the Horn Lake Eagles. LaFette coming off a big loss last week against the Chargers. And Horn Lake, I uh, know they're 0-1, but I don't know who they lost to. Um, last year, LaFette beat Horn Lake. The year before, LaFette beat Horn Lake. I mean, I have been told that there are rumors that Horn Lake's team has gotten into a little bit of trouble. So, give me the Commodore just because I think we have they have the better team. Um, I just yeah. don't know how good Horn Lake is this year. I yeah. just give me Commodore. Give me Lafette. I the think league. I've seen a few clips of them. I think they 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 establish the run game. They they like to run the ball, but I think yeah. Lafette they're gonna. I think Lafette's defense ought to be able to hold that down really good. I think Lafette can. Pull this one out even after their struggles last week. I think Lafayette could rebound this week and win their first game of the year. What about you, Ron? Give me the Commodores going to DeSoto County and getting a big win against Horn Lake. Now, on to our college football games. We have a Thursday night game between the Florida Gators and the number 14th ranked Utah Utes. Last year, Florida had an up and down season with Anthony Richardson, and last year, Utah played amazing football. Best football they've played in a while. So, um,. Give, give me the Utes. Give me Utah and the big win on a Thursday night. First college football game of that week. So, give, give me the Utah. Man, this, man, this is where it gets tough. Because, you know, that that's a really good game in my opinion. I think these two teams, I think this could go either way. I think, I think you know, special teams might determine this game. I mean, this is really close. But I'm going to give the slight edge to Florida. Because I think Florida, they just going to be more prepared for this game at the end of the day. But it could go either way. But I'm going to go with Florida. Give me the Utah Utes. On a big win against the Gators. You got any reasoning? You just saying stuff. I don't know much about either of the teams, so. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> At least he's honest, folks. All right, for our final college game and our final pick of the day, we have the biggest game of the week between any game you could think of, and that is the number five LSU Tigers versus the number eight Florida State Seminoles. And both teams Ooh. having big recruits coming in. Jaden Daniels coming off a great season last year, mm-hmm. knocking off Alabama from the yeah. playoffs, which hasn't been done in a mm-hmm. long time. Yeah. Um, but I just think LSU is the better team here. I think they have the better players. I think they have the better coaching staff. Mm-hmm. Give me the Tigers. Go Tigers. And, you know, I love how Florida State, I love their <coughs> offense. I love their QB that they've had the past couple of years. But I think LSU, they're going to end, end up coming out to win this game. I think LSU, they just got the better overall team. And I think, I know Brian Kelly, he knows how to play. He, he knows what he's doing. I'm going to go ahead and give the LSU a game of the day. Yeah, man, I'm going with the underdog. Give me Florida State. There's no really underdog in this really situation. Underdog. Well, well, I mean, Y'all both said LSU, so neither one of y'all think Florida State's going to win. So, I mean, I'm kinda, they're kind of like the underdog between us, I guess. Between you two, I guess you could say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess Anywho, so. <laughs> this has been our Pick'ems with Zachary Whitley. Brian Houston. And Tyler Wiley. And we'll see you next time. Welcome back to your podcast today. Here with Zachary Whitley. Right. <laughs> Shoot. Four, three, two. I'm trying to get this last out. Uh, for Jaguars, because if you put a Jaguar against the Bulldogs, the Jaguars are gonna beat the Bulldogs. So, yeah. We won by that logic. Yeah, we are. <laughs> In my uh, logic, anyway. That's my logic. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go by. You actually said that.